Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Phyllis Summers will do what she does best, pull from her trick set. Phyllis often talks about her changes, but it's difficult to locate concrete proof of such changes. Naturally, when Phyllis staged her own death, she went overboard with her cunning. You could say that's progress because Phyllis isn't quite as cunning as she once was. Even so, since Cricket is Phyllis's real adversary, it's unlikely that she would ever stop planning schemes to harm people, especially Christine Blair. Phyllis was furious and humiliated, but she accepted it coolly when Danny Romolotti made Christine the official choice and drew a clear boundary in the sand. Later on, though, Phyllis made hints that her conflict with Christine wasn't over. Phyllis now intends to apologize to Christine for ever winning this love triangle. According to Y and R teasers, Phyllis is about to do something really crazy, something that can only be described as classic Phyllis. It sounds like it will entail a throwback, so if Phyllis executes her cunning scheme, fans might be treated to a taste of the past. Maybe Phyllis could accompany them to their hotel suite at a rest stop along the way, as Danny invited Christine to join him on the tour. In an attempt to spoil Christine's honeymoon with Paul Williams, Phyllis once placed an octopus in her bed. Is it possible that Phyllis placed an octopus or another equally unsettling animal in Christine and Danny's bed next to one other? However, Phyllis might pull off another prank that exposes to the public her true nature as a schemer. In any case, you can be sure that Christine will be furious and searching for any means of forcing Phyllis to pay. That brings up an intriguing point. Phyllis is still subject to probation, and breaking it might result in her being arrested. Christine may find a way to file charges and ensure that Phyllis is taken away in handcuffs, regardless of what she conjures up. Will Phyllis reach her lowest point as she ends up in a jail cell? Would that make Phyllis realize that she needs to make a genuine change rather than just saying she has? Phyllis needs to make some real changes in her life, so perhaps receiving some unfavorable legal news will ultimately work to her advantage. Stay tuned for our predictions on Phyllis' probable demise, because the young and the restless spoilers suggest that if she isn't careful, her prank could backfire terribly. Young and the restless spoilers indicate that Sally Spectra is content with her relationship with Adam Newman, indicating that things are back on track and going well for them. Sally's life has become much easier since she made the decision to give in to the attraction that formerly held them both. Now that they are openly exchanging declarations of love, Sally and Adam are connecting on a deeper level and being honest about their sentiments. While it's encouraging to watch Adam and Sally progressing, we must ask ourselves whether their happy relationship will last into marriage. Sally and Adam may easily tie the knot if things continue the way they are. Naturally, considering wedding arrangements leads us to a fascinating discovery. If Sally's wedding day does occur, the program should probably address the fact that she has no family in the area. Remember that Sally was a crossover character from The Bold and the Beautiful. If so, is it possible that Y and R will invite another former B and B character to attend Sally's special day? Although Coco Spectra is no longer a cast member of The Bold and the Beautiful, Sally has frequently brought up her younger sister. We are aware that Sally and Coco are still in contact thanks to phone conversations and in-person meetings. If her older sister chooses to marry Adam, Coco would be remiss to miss Sally's wedding. If Y and R are ready to allow Sally to have even more special visitors, it's feasible that Grams, also known as Shirley Spectra, will make an appearance. But what interests me the most is the possibility of Coco Spectra visiting the area, especially if she decides to stay. It's possible that Coco will find love in Geno City, just like Sally, so there's something to consider. Regardless, if Sally and Adam's wedding is approaching, Coco will have a compelling reason to come to GC, so stay tuned for additional pre-wedding forecasts. 
Keep checking back for updates on any possible Coco Spectra news, as teases on the young and the restless suggest that Sally may have a family reunion in the near future. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that neither Thursday, March 21, nor Friday, March 22, will see the release of a new episode. So what can we anticipate on Monday, March 25, when the upcoming new episode airs? The Restless and Young Spoilers for the Young and the Restless ahead. Fans should, first and foremost, ascertain whether Jordan is still alive. Lully Winters and Heather Stevens square off too. To the rescue is Nate Hastings. Additionally, Diane Jenkins Abbott lashes out at Kyle Abbott. Programming note. Spoilers for the Young and the Restless. We are limited to our educated speculations regarding Monday's episode because the rest of the week is preempted and official Y and R spoilers have not yet been issued. Typically, Monday is one of the moments from the promo clip. Now let us begin by discussing what to expect when Monday finally arrives. Y and R spoilers. Lily Winter's enragement, as seen in the weekly preview clip. Fans may witness Lily confront Heather on Monday, March 25. Heather queries whether she will lose her job at Chancellor Winters. Lily claims she is still unsure of her decision. That being said, Lily gets up from the table at Crimson Lights and walks out. But Lily freezes when she sees Daniel Romolotti, Jr. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless The Rescue Mission of Nate Hastings The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Monday, March 25th, indicate that Audra Charles and Tucker McCall got into a public argument. Tucker goes for Audra's arm as an extremely distraught and distressed Audra pulls away from him, but Audra retreats, telling Tucker to stay away from her. When Nate notices the altercation, he intervenes. Nate approaches Tucker while acting as Audra's hero. How likely is it that Nate and Audra will make love in bed? Monday, March 25th, I and R spoilers. Fans will undoubtedly learn whether Jordan is alive or dead on Monday, March 25. Jordan says she ingested something that was poisonous. Jordan then gave a spectacular breakdown and pretended to be dead. That being said, some fans believe Jordan is still alive. It was just too simple for the Newman women, and Jordan's death did feel a bit blah. It's also expected that Diane would lash out at Kyle, Diane makes it clear to Kyle that she is the one in command. That's when Kyle makes a cunning counterattack and storms off. On Monday, March 25, which plot line are you most anticipating seeing? How do you see Jordan, Lily, Heather, Daniel, Diane, and Kyle turning out? What lies ahead for Nate, Audra, Tucker, and the other Genoa City citizens? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.